What are the React mistakes junior devs make? If you are a junior developer, you probably even do not know how many mistakes you make. Then you see movies like that and the world is collapsing. The first mistake is the incorrect use of the useState hook. Juniors might try to modify the state directly, but it should be made using the previous value. You can see in this example that the hook is asynchronous and the state is not being updated by incrementing value double time. Not using keys in mapping can cause rendering problems and stuck React applications. Avoid debugging by making sure you pass it. However, the usage of the index as a key is another mistake. Make sure you pass a unique value like ID. Index as a key can cause problems when a mapped array is changing properties. If you are using TypeScript and skip adding everywhere type any, you are over it and feel like a big boss when confronting JavaScript code. You can be proud of yourself. However, if you are stuck with JavaScript, you should consider using prop types and define the type of each prop passed to the component. You will write more code, but it is worth it. If you are not using functional components, you are probably in love with staying behind. Leave class components and be more functional. Next time, please debounce API calls. Implementing some delay can reduce unnecessary calls, save money, and improve the performance of an application. Be smart and do not call API every time you press the key on the keyboard. Optimization of a performance can be done in different ways. For example, using use memo hook, the component will be re-rendered only if the value changes. Testing code is taboo. When the code base grows, properly written tests can save a lot of time in debugging some features. Even in serious development, it is skipped to be faster, but testing is still a good practice that you should know. Only amateurs hard code pieces of program. Use values instead of different constant variables, not only CSS values, but also some refresh time, etc. Always maintain the errors in different API calls or rendering components. Use a try-catch statement to make it properly and do not be surprised by errors on the page. One of the most frequent errors in React components is creating infinite loops in useEffect hook. By updating the value which causes the next update of the hook, avoid it by removing it from the dependencies array. Thank you for watching this video, you are a true inspiration. If you would like to become a modern developer, in the description is a link to my newsletter. See you!